welcome back to my trying to conceive update videos um, I'm surviving the two-week wait I'm over well over halfway through I'm only four days away from being able to take a pregnancy test um, but for some reason this time around I just kind of feel like pregnancy is not a reality at this point like I just don't, I'm not feeling the same that I did last time, which I'll explain further in just a moment, but one of the ways that I have been surviving the two week wait is by not symptom spotting, not thinking too much of things that I'm feeling or doing. This past week I've been super fatigued, but the reason for that is I have spent like three or four nights in a row now with insomnia, like crazy. Waking up at 2.30, can't go back until 5, waking up at 3 o'clock and never going back to sleep. So I've just had a crazy week. So I'm not even counting fatigue as any kind of symptom of anything because it just has to do with lack of sleep. This is exactly why I'm not symptom spotting because it can make you crazy. It can stress you out and I'm just not going to do that to myself. I'm going to go with the flow. When it's time for me to take a test, I will. Um, and that should be on Sunday. However, I don't know if I want to take a test on Sunday or if I should just wait a couple of days and see if I, if things start up <laughs> on their own. Um, and the reason being is because I don't feel like I'm pregnant at all. And, um, my last pregnancy, I had symptoms very early on. Um, but most of my intense symptoms, like when they started like really ramping up, was around 9, 10, I skipped over 11 for some reason, and 12 DPO, and 13 DPO, um, is when I had most of my pregnancy symptoms. I had a lot of cramping, I had a lot of fatigue, like major fatigue, lifeless, um, one of the biggest indicators for me was a queasy feeling stomach. Not even really so much queasy, but like if you've ever had like the stomach bug and the day after that weird like sort of raw feeling in your stomach, like it's healing, it's like trying to recover. That's how I felt like every day, all day. And it didn't make me sick. I wasn't nauseous or anything. It just felt like I had already thrown up or something. Um, I had lots of twinges and bubbly feelings last time, but um, I just, I'm not getting any of that uh, this time around, but I'm not exactly looking for it or paying attention to it anyway, because I just don't want to stress myself out. So that is why I feel kind of like I don't feel like anything's really happening or going on to indicate that there's pregnancy there. One of the things I have been doing is drinking a ton of water. <laughs> I'm up to like 70 ounces of water so I'm like slowly trying to work up um, I think once I do get pregnant is when I'll finally hit 90 ounces of water, but this holds 60 and I drink almost one and a half of these a day. It's like a lot of water. Drink up your water, ladies. That's what's going on here. Um, but yeah, just, um, word of advice. <laughs> if you're in the two week wait, don't think about the two week wait. <laughs> because it will drive you insane. I just thought I'd come on here and let you guys know what's going on with me and where I'm at as of right now. Um, I meant to actually post a two week wait video uh, last Friday because that was like my halfway point. But unfortunately, my life has been kind of here and there and everywhere. So I didn't really get a chance to sit down with the camera and um, talk about anything. So. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and stop the video here. I just wanted to keep this kind of short and just give you an update. Um, and yeah, hopefully within the next few days, I'll take the test and let you guys know what happens. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Subscribe if you'd like. And you can also follow me on Instagram at Christina May Blog. Bye.